FTX collapse is golden opportunity for developers, says Tezos co-founder, Kathleen Brightman, of the Luxembourg-based blockchain platform, discusses why the collapse of FTX is a massive distraction for the industry but has made it prime time for hiring developers. Tezos Kathleen Brightman sees the collapse of FTX bringing down-to-earth expectations for crypto-based platforms. The blockchain protocol platform co-founder contends this will make room for hiring more developers within the ecosystem. She told Coindesk TV's first mover the FTX collapse took place at a time of mass layoffs from really well-run companies, so that from a recruitment perspective this is actually a pretty golden opportunity. A lot of what FTX was doing through its venture arm, FTX Ventures, was increasing the valuations of companies and creating extremely outsized expectations, Brightman said. Having expectations pulled down to earth while a lot of challenges are coming into the market is actually pretty great, from a developer's perspective. Brightman said that while blockchain technology isn't to blame for FTX's downfall, that downfall has been a massive distraction for the industry, especially for those unfamiliar with crypto. FTX, based in the Bahamas, imploded and filed for bankruptcy protection not long after a Coindesk report detailed how its corporate sibling, Alameda Research, had a substantial amount of FTX's native token, FTT, on its balance sheet. FTX and Alameda Research founder Sam Bankman-Fried is currently awaiting extradition to the United States from the Bahamas for misleading investors. He faces charges including intent to commit wire fraud, money laundering and other criminal charges. According to Brightman, the industry can recover from the dark shadow cast by the collapse of FTX. She added that FTX's wrongdoings could have happened in pretty much any industry. Brightman said that, in future, investors should be more discerning about the projects that interest them and examine who will be running them. Tezos, a public and open source blockchain protocol that uses a proof of stake, POS, model, underwent its 12th upgrade Sunday night, which Brightman said made no headlines and veered toward the boring side of things. We're starting to see the value of being kind of boring and reliable and focusing on shipping great technology over, giving eye-melting headlines and valuations for yet-built products, Brightman said.